Hello, and welcome to our WebEye CMS video tutorials. For this tutorial, we're going to walk through how to handle an alarm within WebEye CMS. As you can see, we're already logged into WebEye CMS. To begin handling alarms, you first need to access your alarm list from the menu. The alarm list is where all your open alarms and new alarm pop-up notifications will appear. These will be displayed in chronological order. Each alarm entry will display the time it was received, the type of event that generated the alarm, its status, the site and group it originated from, and its current handler. To view, click on an alarm from the list. The alarm page provides you with all the information required to appropriately handle an alarm. At the top, we can see the site name and the time and date the alarm was received into WebEye CMS. Further down, we're displayed with the signals associated with the alarm. This includes timestamps, peripheral device names, and any associated videos. Clicking on a video will start playback. If you wish, you can also download the video by clicking on the Save icon. To the right, we're given Device Details, and next to that, Alarm Menu Options. Starting from the bottom, we can save the alarm. This will extend the period the media is kept by WebEye. By default, videos are stored for two years. Saving an alarm will extend that by a further four years. Deferring an alarm only affects users who use the notifications alarm list. An alarm can be deferred by any length of time, but a reason must be given. Notes associated with the alarm can be viewed and added. Any notes added can be seen by other users viewing the alarm and when viewed in the site's alarm history. A full audit of the alarm can be obtained by clicking Audit Log. This will display all actions taken by any alarm handlers. If the alarm requires escalating, clicking Site Details will display any given details including alarm handling instructions. Closing the alarm requires a valid status from the drop-down menu. Closing comments can also be added. Once closed, the alarm will disappear from the alarm list and can only be viewed again via the site's alarm history or via reporting. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, please take a look at our video library.